Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Rob, aka MCRC, and welcome to the weekly roundup. Roll intro. Hey guys, well that was the intro. So, welcome back to my channel. As I said before, my name is Rob, aka MCRC, uh, and I've got a cool track coming out as the bonus track this week. We've got, uh, again, I'm trying to pr put out three tracks every week that are new. Um, so again, now that uh, I'm back from a holiday, I've got a bit more time to write and produce and to, to uh, neaten up some stuff. There'll be some new tracks coming out and uh, I hope you enjoy. And so um, yeah, this week's track, we've got uh, a song called Heart Disease uh, called Love. And this song uh, is actually a John Cooper Clark poem song thing obviously john cooper clark well known as the uh the sort of punk rock poet uh from manchester uh and his song uh or yeah poem there is actually a, a musical version of this of this uh song whether you would call it a song or a poem i'm not quite sure um but this was actually part of a qualification that i did uh when i was sort of 16 17 um and this qualification was a music technology qualification um so part of the the course was learning how to record stuff learning how to uh sequence things learning how to um you know produce music and everything like that so this is the first time that i've really had uh, any sort of actual training or anything like that. Before that, I'd just been writing music and just doing it myself uh, on a computer at home, no knowledge of anything or anything like that. So um, yeah, it was kind of cool to uh, to actually have some one teach me a few things. Um, I mean, it was a sort of two year course. It didn't go into a huge amount of depth because um, it wasn't the only thing that I was doing at the time. Um, in the UK, we do what we call uh, A-levels. When I was doing my A-levels, um, they were um, part, uh, you had a first year and a second year, um, so this was part of my AS level, uh, and then you had A2 levels, which was like the second part of the A-level, um, so I did take music technology to AS and A2, um, and as I say, this is uh, one of the songs that was part of my coursework. Um, effectively, we got just some lyrics. They did say who it was by, so I knew it was a John Cooper Clark. Uh, they said it was a poem, but having Googled um, later, and again back then, we didn't really have Google, or we did, but it wasn't great. Um, it didn't have lots of functions as it is now. Um, I'm not even sure YouTube was that big, so you couldn't really Google stuff um, and find performances or tracks or anything like that. Um, so it was a little bit trickier. You could probably just about find lyrics to this poem or, or song, but it, it was a lot harder to do back then, so it was always something that uh, if you didn't know about it it was harder to find that information so um, yeah we got a sheet with the lyrics on and that had uh, just the, the title of the song and some lyrics uh, and the idea was just to go away and just compose some music do a track uh, and then make a MIDI sequence for that and then record uh, the vocal over the top of it basically um, so the idea was you were testing you, your ability to be able to make a MIDI backing track it was a, testing you on how well you could mix that MIDI backing track with some vocals how well you could record the vocals how well you could uh, you know a number of things basically to try and uh, test you on your coursework and everything like that um, so um, having read the lyrics I, uh, I thought oh, that sounds kind of a bit like a sort of cheesy 80s rock you know really hard rock um song um a little bit although the, the actual song is, is very very different uh, it's kind of a bit more uh kind of uh i guess electro post-punk um goth music sort of but it's not really um it's quite happy surprisingly for um for the type of uh, lyrics and everything like that so uh, I got a guy who was in the year below me, um, who was uh, in a rock band called Gunshot Residue, a guy called Brian Gorman, um, and got him to kind of do this sort of like over-the-top gritty uh, vocal line. 
um, which uh, was kind of, kind of funny, uh, and I wrote the backing track and everything like that, mixed it all together, and as I say, that was part of my uh, sort of music tech A level coursework. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a weird one, as I say, these bonus tracks I'm sort of using to kind of put out some of the music that you know were things that I did when I was younger um, things that aren't necessarily very good but are kind of cool to see uh, how I got taught how I have uh, produced the music how I've gone on and grown and used the things that I learned at school or learned on the courses that I did or even stuff that I just did self-taught and just did on my own uh, at home how those have gone into um, what I produce now. So yeah, have a little listen, see what you think. Uh, keep an eye out for some of the stuff that's coming out on the uh, on the um, the channel. Uh, we've got quite a few things coming up. Let me have a little look and just see what we've got coming up. So uh, yep, yeah, coming up on Friday, um, we've got um, a really nice uh, chilled lo-fi beat. Um, and same on Sunday. Um, I'm quite pleased with the next three tracks. So that's uh, Friday, uh, the 30th uh, of October. We've got a really cool one on the 1st of November and uh, something that I am super, super proud of on the 2nd of November. So that's Monday, the 2nd of November. I would really recommend, I've got a song coming out called Open Seas, Open Seas. I'm really happy with the artwork. I'm really happy with the way the song goes. Um, I think it sounds really cool. I think the idea of the artwork really is represented in the song as well. Um, so I feel like I've got sort of two meshing together pretty well. And um, the idea is that uh, he's a guy on the boat, uh, opening out into the open seas, battling the elements, uh, the rain, the wind, the lightning, um, when he's out on an adventure. And I think the music kind of has that feel. As always, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, these videos are so much better if you guys comment and I can ask, answer any questions or chat or you know anything like that. If anyone wants any of the music or is a YouTuber or anything like that and wants some music in the background, let me know because I'm really keen to uh, get my music out there free of charge and, and uh, you know just cool to get my music somewhere that I can say, hey, this is this is my music or I did this for this person. Uh, always keen to collaborate as well if there's anything that you're really loving let me know um, but otherwise uh, yes yeah, stay tuned for um, Heart Disease Called Love uh, which is a cover of John Cooper Clark very very different from the original um, as I say quite cool uh, one day I might if I can find the original vocal lines I think it's probably lost um, in the ether but if I can find a way to get the original vocal lines off the track then I might redo the music or I could possibly just use keep the mini background in the, underneath and, uh, and try and sort of overlay some better guitar tracks and stuff make it sound proper um, but um, yeah whether that's worth the effort or not I don't know whether I spend my energies uh, trying to do some of the cool music that's coming up um, but yeah so uh, let me know there's some really cool music coming out um, and then uh, we'll see you next week for another weekly uh, bonus uh, track and a weekly wrap up. Okay, cheers guys. See you later. <laughs>
with a heart disease color After dinner mints I your lover And the coffee's so bitter and black Your fingerprints they cover This knife sticking out of my neck And you overlooked the fine detail You should've worn the gloves Got a girl in jail, yeah In a house for sale And a heart disease called love